evolution of sound. Beep, beep. What's up, ninjas? My name is Semrold, and welcome to the ultimate guide for Extra Records OTT, which stands for over the top compression. In this video, you're going to learn how to utilize it on your master, on your leads, and on your bass. So, if you guys are ready to learn some cool stuff, let's begin. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is the fact that Xverse OTT is actually emulating the multi band dynamics of you know, Ableton, the OTT preset. So legend has it that Steve Duda did this so that people like FL Studio users, Logic Pro and Pro Tool users can get a taste of Ableton, just the taste of one preset. And you guys can feel the power. But anyways, back to the tutorial, it's just an emulation of it. So pretty much when you open up the OTT, you're gonna notice it says multi-band upward and downward compressor. All this means is that it does multi-band compression in upwards and downwards motion. Upwards is gonna be whenever the sound goes below the threshold, it gets increased in volume. And downwards is the one you guys know, whenever the sound goes over the threshold, it gets decreased in volume. Now pretty much the depth is gonna be our dry and wet here. So if we have the OTT on, 0% depth does nothing and 100% is fully wet. So it's going to be fully applied. You can see it literally just compressed the crap out of our signal there. Now the time has to do with the attack and release. As you can see here, we have um, time settings for our attack and release. I personally always leave it at 100%. I find that it's the best place to have it. And when you have a thousand, you know, cause it does go up to a thousand, it doesn't really change much of it. So leave it at hundred percent. That's my tip for you. But if you want to dabble with it, totally up to you now the in gain and the out gain have to do with the inputs as you can see here for the ott you're going to have an input increase of 5.63 5.20 and 5.20 by default on the ott preset of ableton the out gain is at 0.0 db and the input gain in ott is at 0.0 db in the ott of ableton you're going to have the output increase to 10.3 5.70 and 10.3 now personally i don't know if steve duda already has it set that way at zero db here but pretty much with the in gain and out gain you control how much of the signal goes in so pretty much if we do that right now you can see it kind of wants to get loud but it doesn't because of the downward compression on it and if we do the out gain that's after it's been compressed when it's coming out you can increase the volume more if you want all right, so hopefully, you know, I put a compressor on this because that was pretty loud. So now let's go back to the original settings of the OTT. Now the OTT is gonna be good for, again, compressing leads, bass, and master, and I'll show you now. Now here below this, you're gonna see that we're gonna have these two boxes, the tan one, ugly brown, and then the green one. The green one is the downward compression and the brown is the upward. So pretty much the best way to use this is literally if you want your highs to be louder, let's decrease volume here, then all you do is move this to the right more and then mids and then your lows it's so very simple right that's why it's one of the more popular audio effects now down here you're going to have percentages for upward and downward just know that this is how much of the upward compression is being applied and this is how much of the downward so zero percent downward you can see more sound is let out 100 200 percent upward you can see the volume increase so just be really careful with that. So now let's go into using the OTT on stuff. Let's apply it to our leads first. Here we're going to have this OTT. Let's get rid of it. And now we're going to apply it here. Let's make sure there's nothing in the master. Okay, so this is how it sounds like without the OTT, the drop. Now with it on. So the first thing to notice is that it's compressing the crap out of the signal. Now, how do we use it? Well, the first thing I'm going to tell you is to put the depth at 0% and slowly add it in. Find the sweet spot for it. And I think it's going to be around 33, 35%. Now the next thing is to let out the highs or the mids that you feel is necessary for your sound. So I like the highs a bit on this. Around there and then the mids. And then the lows we can reduce because again, we don't want any low frequencies on the lead because the bass is there for that. So there we have it. Now let's play it with the song with it on and off. That's off and now on. So that's how you use the OTT on your leads. Now let's move on to the bass. So in the bass, we're gonna have another OTT and we're gonna apply it before the reverb because I don't want the reverb to pop out. Whatever you put behind the OTT is gonna get literally highlighted. You're gonna be able to hear it because it's compressing the crap out of the signal. Now with the OTT, the bass sounds like this. With it off. So you can see what it's gonna do. So now again, same exact thing. 
33% has like this perfect correlation of compressed and loud with un uncompressed and just kind of dynamic to it. So now we're gonna add a little bit of highs, mid lows and bass as well. Now with it off. You can see it, it's kind of like a compression and an EQ and it's crazy it's the, the amount of work the OTT does for you. So now with it on and the bass and the, and the lead. With it off. You can see it adds so much. And now let's finally teach you how to use it on the master. So let's get rid of the OTT from Ableton. So now we're going to put the OTT here. And the way you're going to use it here, guys, is going to be very sparingly. You want to be sparing as hell with this because if you're not, it's going to fuck up your master. So the first thing I'm going to do is upward and downward compression go to 0%. I'm going to want more downward compression. I'm going to put that at 23% and then the upward at 17%. And then we're going to add a bit of depth here. like 22%. And now we're gonna add a little bit of the highs and a little bit of the mids and a little bit of the lows there to increase volume a bit on it and. So off and on. And now with the limiter on, it's gonna get loud, warning. And as you can see, it works great for what it did. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Let me know you hear me speaking.